So Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence may be reteaming for It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. And that really is an interesting proposition to me because I'm a comedy fan. That film just had every comedy star that you could ever think of appearing. I mean, you had Spencer Tracy in there, you had Buddy Hackett, you had all of these people, Phil Silvers, and uh, even the Three Stooges popped up in It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. And then you had other people like Milton Berle was in there, Sid Caesar, Mickey Rooney was even in that film. <laughs> And Terry Thomas was in that. And uh, there's just so many people, it just piled up. In some ways, I just, I'm excited about it and I can't stop shooting off the names that were in the old film. I mean, Don Knotts was in there and uh, Dick Sean was in there. He's an absolute nut, Dick Sean. He was really funny in that. So there was just so many people in that old movie. Jerry Lewis even appeared briefly. And uh, just thinking about that old film really gets me excited about the new one. So uh, it was an ambitious movie, but it had a laugh quotient. And it's a very, very memorable film for a lot of people. And I tend to watch it, you know, maybe once every seven or eight years, I'll, uh, I'll watch a little bit of It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. It still shows up on TV and I have it on Blu-ray and it's just one of those things where you go, hang on, I need a laugh. And that film delivers. It's a long film. It, it goes for two hours plus. And there's even an extended cut out there. So, uh, you know, it had everything, including the kitchen sink in that film. I think the aim is to get, uh, as Eddie put it, all of the famous comedy faces over the last 30 years in one movie. Now, that's not to say that they haven't uh, tried to milk the uh, Mad Mad World formula before. They actually have, back in the 80s, they did a version of it called The Million Dollar Mystery and uh, it starred uh, not too many famous faces. I think that was the problem. It was kind of made with an almost unknown cast of comedians, but they redid it. And I think the biggest name in Million Dollar Mystery was Tom Bosley, you know, the dad from Happy Days. He kind of kicked the movie off. And uh, Eddie Deason, you know, the geek from Greece and these other films, he was actually in it. But aside from that, you know, they didn't have any names. So that film tanked. And uh, I have it actually on Blu-ray. There's a few laughs in it, but it just really falls short. And uh, back in, I think it might be 2000 now, so we're looking at almost 24 years, they did try to do a version of It's a Mad, 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 Mad World with a big cast. And it was called Rat Race. And they got together people like Whoopi Goldberg, Rowan Atkinson. Who else was in there? John Lovitz, I remember, was in that film. He had some of the funnier moments, John Lovitz. And uh, John Cleese was in that, by memory. And uh, that had a few, you know, very famous faces, but no Eddie Murphy. So yeah, they tried very hard with Rat Race, and I don't think that film was a mega hit. I know a lot of people did go and support it, but you know, it's kind of forgotten about now. I actually watched Rat Race about six months ago, and I must say it was, for the most part, hit and miss. There was a few big laughs, but there was just more laughs that kind of just, it putters along and it's just not the funniest movie. So let's hope this time they get the jokes right. But uh, with Eddie on board, I'm sure uh, things will improve this round. So I, would, uh, I wouldn't I would have imagined that they would go back and remake It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. But I think in the hands of Eddie Murphy and uh, some very talented comedians, this uh, could be a thing. 
So, uh, yes, I'm uh, looking forward to that if it happens. I know, uh, you know, it's just early talks at the moment, but apparently there's a script and it's very funny. And Eddie wants to get back with Martin. So uh, I will say that this sounds exciting. So uh, I'm a comedy fan and uh, I'm always up for a good laugh. So bring on. It's a mad, 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 mad world with Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence. It sounds cool to me. Thanks for watching. Retro Man will return faster than a boomerang. But in the meantime, please check out these other episodes.